All right, here is some range footage with the Dan Wesson six barrel pack. This is the two and a half inch snubby. Uh, pretty accurate, and I was shooting this at 10 yards and hitting the black. Now we're moving on to the four inch. As these barrels progress, notice there's going to be a slight reduction in muzzle rise because the weight of the barrel is going to reduce the recoil impulse. So this is the eight inch right now. Looks like I missed the six inch. 8 inches is really nice. The balance feels good. Here's the 10 inch. 10 inch is uh, just barely moving. Um, the 10 inch is very accurate. I mean, I moved this out to 20 yards now, so it's a lot farther. And uh, hitting the black after I zeroed it. Um, there is a slight variation between all the barrels and zeroing it at different distances, but I was trying to find a nice happy medium, just making sure that the windage was right and this is the 15 inch so the 15 inch is heavy so you have to get a really good grip on it but once you do and you figure out how to time that trigger the trigger does stack a little bit a lot more than Smith & Wesson you'll see that um, it's very accurate I was starting the black and this is still at 20 yards so pushed back a lot further than the initial shots with the two and a half inch and the four inch but um yeah this is just a very accurate revolver with a 15 inch not saying that it's hard to miss but you have to get a good grip on it because of the weight so once you secure a nice good grip on it it's very accurate